this is just in regards to the topic you brought up uh, earlier in today's uh, show about internalizing tones and voices. And, yes. um, you know, I, I really, really uh, just think that's uh, very fascinating. And I, I realize how true that is. And, um, you know, for myself, uh, I feel like I've internalized a lot of, um, uh, you know, things that came from my father you know you use that analogy and I realize that's exactly what I go through um and so I I guess it's about recognizing those triggers and and um how to how to recognize those things and how to um you know um change uh I guess behavior Uh, because for me growing up the one one of the things I always said was like I love my dad he's amazing in a lot of ways but he did um you know, uh, he was really strong with his words, was very harsh. And um, I always told myself, gosh, I'm not going to be like that. And then I realized, um, you know, my husband has shared with me, you know, in a lot of ways, you are like that. And I just said, gosh, you know, that's one I want to break away from. Well, all those things can certainly be true. You cannot want to be like that. And then you do have that voice in your head. Sometimes that gets triggered and it goes out the other direction. And then you don't want to be like that. And that can be true too. You can change this. That's the good news. So is the question like, so what do you do about this? Pretty much. Yeah. Just, you know, Uh, um, have you ever been in any therapy? Yes. Um, uh, well, it's not for myself. Me and my husband have a, a marriage counselor. We have that, that we, um, just started. That's something new. Um, okay. but not Good. for myself. All right. Well, I would, you know, you talk to your marriage, marriage counselor about this, but that's probably, unless for some reason not to, that's probably a, a really good idea because usually these kinds of things, you know, take some work inside, but let me give you a couple ways to think about it. Number one is, um, I want you to take a stance of, uh, that there, I'm going to add a person to your life. Okay, you ready for a new relationship? I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you the person called the air traffic controller that lives in Kay's head. So, in other words, <laughs> I want you to not only be K as you go through the day, but I want you to be the person who listens to K B K. So, what that means mm-hmm. is really start observing this harsh tone inside when you see yourself do it with your husband or with your dog or whoever it is that you do it with write that down get the air traffic controller to yep she did it again here's what she did when you say it to yourself or when you say it to somebody else write it down because one of the things that happens is when you begin to observe yourself that is the first step in changing oneself because now we're no longer being that person, we've gotten above it. And that in itself is a distancing from that part of ourselves instead of just being lost in it. You know, uh, when the Bible, for example, says, observe your ways, God tells us to get above ourselves and watch ourselves. Well, the cognitive therapist Mm -hmm. will say, get above yourself and watch your automatic thoughts and write them down. Okay, so I want you to begin to really, really see this, okay? And then what you're going to do is as you begin to see this and you're really getting a picture of, there's going to be a theme that emerges. And when you see that theme, that's going to begin to tell you what the real issue is behind that. It can be, you know, uh, sort of like a judgment, somebody's stupid or you're stupid or you're, you know, what's wrong with you? It could be a... It could be a a sense of powerlessness. It could be, you don't feel lovable. It could be a bunch of different stuff. But I want you to see kind of all these different voices. They kind of of are all saying the same thing. And then you look at your relationship with your dad. And there's probably some processing of that and letting that be his. You know, one of the things the scriptures say, and this is what all of therapy has taught people for 100 years, Confess not only your sins, but confess the sins of your fathers. So Mm -hmm. when we say, you know what, my dad had this problem. 
that's a further differentiation of this isn't me, that was him. And then if that was him, how did that feel to me? And when he was like that, and your therapist said, how did that make you feel? And then you're going to get into some feelings about this. And as you process that, that's moving down a path of grieving it and letting it go. And that further differentiates it. And then you further begin to practice being kind. And that strengthens those neurological patterns in your brain. And all that added together is a lot of change with one more element. That if you can get in some sort of, of a group with some other voices, like a therapy group or your own mm-hmm. therapist or a couple of friends, and share your mistakes, and they respond with a different tone, you're going to get new voices in your head and the old ones go to sleep. So that's kind of a lot of things to think about, but that's that's some of what I would want to see you do. Okay. That's powerful. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you for your call. Okay. Take a look at my book, Changes That Heal. Um, And I have a lot in there about this.